next video, I'll show you how we applied IV400 to add three units to the house behind me, which was our Newton project. This is an example of our shovel-ready ADU build, um, and I used the concept to leave my soul-crushing W2 job earlier this year. We have a map, my name is Mark Doty. I do value-add deals here in San Diego with my friends. Our goal is to add more units in San Diego so that we can help with the housing shortage. If you're interested in what we do, feel free to uh, follow along or add a note to the comments section below. All right, before we get into the actual project, let's start with a quick review um, of the local uh, regulations that came out through uh, the San Diego Development Office. So this is Information Bulletin 400 that came out in December of 2020. So it's about a year old. Um, and what this thing does is, is it tells you the rules on, on what an accessory dwelling is, uh, how big they have to be, where you can build them, the difference in the zoning, and. All right, let me, let me spend a second here on uh, Section J, the ADU bonus program. Um, basically, this is, this is focusing on affordable housing. So if you're willing to add uh, affordable housing into, the, into your program um, and you do it inside a transit priority area, uh, the TPA is an area that's a half mile from a major uh, uh, transportation stop, like a, like a trolley or a major bus station. Um, if you're willing to do that and you do it in a multifamily zone, the maximum number of bonus ADUs is unlimited. So you can, as long as, as, long as you're sticking with the Florida area ratio and the general building code, you're, you're building things up to code, um, as long as you're doing that, you can have an unlimited number of ADUs, which presents a huge opportunity for developers like me. So just as, as food for thought, if I gave you 800 square feet and you can do as many units as you want, as, as you could, how many units would you do? One, two, four? Would you do four of these? What if I gave you 2,500 square feet? Would you even consider doing seven of these? Or would you consider turning this thing into this thing? Well, I, I, I kind of digress because that's not what we did on this project, but what IB400 does is it gives you the permission to be able to do that if you're in San Diego. So our Newton project is an example of our shovel-ready ADU concept. Uh, we're located here in the southeast side of San Diego, a residential multifamily zone, so it hits that bucket. We look at the transit priority area next. Um, there's a definition of what the TPA means, but it's basically, like I said earlier, uh, a half mile from a major trolley stop. Now our parcel is right here. We are just outside the transit priority, so we're gonna be limited to only, uh, only three additional units from the house. But then, uh, but then when we look at the actual uh, the actual property, we're in the middle here. We're a big, flat, uh, multi-family zoned lot. Uh, we butt up against an alley, so we've got plenty of buildable space here in the background. Uh, I'm sorry, in the backyard. And then from these pictures, you can see that it lacked a sort of uh, curb appeal, uh, which allowed us to buy it at a discount from one of the wholesalers in town. Our plan was to turn the backyard into three additional units and a four-car garage. Uh, with, within a month of owning the property, we had our plans drawn up and submitted to the San Diego Development Office for review. And then we sat back and waited for five months before we had any kind of back and forth. Um, but then finally, we got the plans approved and then remember, with our with our shovel ready approach, this is as far as we're going to take it. We're going through. We're getting all of the plans approved, drawn up, um, passed through the development office, and then we're selling it to a developer who will move forward um, and capitalize on the build of the project. The idea is we get a quick win. Um, we put the project together and design it. Somebody else uh, somebody else builds it from the ground up. All right. So how do we do? Um, this is from Zillow, just so we've got a public source. Um, on this property. So we bought it in April uh, of 2021 for 425. Uh, we went through, got everything permitted, um, submitted to the city, waited, waited, waited some more. Um, and then we finally got it done, permitted, um, stamped approval in, uh, in October. We put it on the market for 699. Um, within two weeks, we had, it, uh, we had it pending. So we had it under contract within two weeks with an all cash offer um, for 30 grand above, uh, above the list price. And then we ended up closing escrow a, a month after after we put it on the market. So 
Um, total spread of about $300,000 from where we purchased it to where we sold it. Uh, the gross profit in there was in the neighborhood of like $200,000. Uh, not bad for seven months worth of work, right? The Newton project shows that our shovel-ready concept works. We got in and out of it in seven months, provided housing for the three families that will eventually live here, we got a great return for our investors, and it was a hell of a lot more fun than medical device sales. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you on the next one. In what we do, feel free to follow. If you're interested in what we do, feel free. If you're interested.